Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. Probably one of the most beautiful things that anyone can enjoy is to watch a, a little kid playing with his own toys. This is so much fun to watch them, how they can entertain themselves with uh, something. And I'm not talking about the electronics, I'm talking about any toys when they are playing with those things with their own hands. And the, probably that reminds you how you were playing with kids when you were little. Personally, I had a wonderful childhood and don't think that I didn't have my problems. I had problems. I had sad stories of my childhood like everybody else. But there were many wonderful, wonderful things that I lived when I was a kid. Like everybody else. Because when you think truly what happened in all those moments, you will agree with me that there are great memories about your childhood. The childhood innocence is something that we need to keep. That is why when you are around kids, you should enjoy the, the company of those little ones. The conversations they have about simple things in life and the, the little things, the little games they want to play with you or with themselves. It is important that you go to the level, you sit down on the floor and the ground and be with them, talk with them. It is beautiful. The childhood innocence will keep your heart healthy. You know? Of course you have problems. Of course you have challenges. And of course, there are many bad things in the world. Of course, I'm not telling you, don't let's deny that. You know, that's, that's not right. We are aware of all those problems, but we cannot dwell in the problems all the time. The childhood innocence will keep the sweetness in your heart, will keep you enjoying simple things in life and to get excited with things like going out for little things, to, to meet with somebody for a little other thing. The childhood innocence will keep you motivated to what we're gonna do tomorrow. Have you ever noticed how excited the kids get just by a promise telling them, we will go tomorrow to the park, we will go tomorrow to the swimming pool, we are going to go to get ice cream, we are going to, to get this little thing. And the kids get so excited. The childhood innocence will bring you joy. Remember that, my friend. Life is more than chores and accomplishments and tasks. Life is also about enjoying flavors and smells and moments. Enjoy life. Remember to keep the childhood innocence in your heart. Hey, 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 hey. That's all, that's all, that's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao. By G and Carlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy until the FBI arrested Simon 
due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video.